why are taxpayers paying seven hundred thousand dollars? In short, because Harlandale ISD um, has been poorly managed uh, for a number of years. Who's to blame for one of San Antonio's poorest school districts having to pay a huge settlement to one of its contractors? Harlandale ISD announced Friday it paid $700,000 of taxpayer money to Jasmine Engineering to settle a lawsuit it's been fighting since 2018. Troubleshooter Jay Avila is finding out for you tonight why the district could have ended this dispute much earlier for a whole a lot less money. Jay? Delane Harlandale's school board has been operating under the supervision of a conservator appointed by the Texas Education Agency because of the way it's handled school construction projects. Jasmine Engineering claims it was not responsible for those problems, but was actually a watchdog protecting taxpayer money. Quite frankly, corruption took over Harlandale ISD's board. And when Jasmine refused to play ball, um, they began threatening her contract. Colin Strother is the spokesman for Jasmine Azima, the founder of Jasmine Engineering, which had a contract with Harlandale to be the commissioning agent, making sure other contractors hired to build schools do it correctly, on time and on budget. Um, at Harlandale ISD, she saved them over $21 million, um, more than three times her fee. Despite that, Jasmine claims trustees abruptly terminated her contract. Jasmine had clashed with some board members who wanted to hire construction firms that did not score well on competitive bidding. Jasmine also refused to sign off on change orders by companies that went over budget. Jasmine Engineering sued Harlandale over the $850,000 she was still owed under the contract. The firm says the case could have been settled quickly, but attorneys working for the district refused to go to mediation and instead appealed all the way to the Texas Supreme Court where the district lost. Harlandale ISD declined our interview request today to respond to Jasmine Engineering's claims. We have submitted an open records request for how much taxpayer money the district spent on legal fees fighting this lawsuit. I'm News 4 troubleshooter Jay Avila.